going on guys it's Nick DMG and I just wanted to show you the final product of the two twin proton powers that I finished up tonight uh, for Sam um, the first one as you know I already made a single video for that one so I don't have to explain that but um, the second one that I did uh, I used white um, SS uh, it's kind of like a flat mesh um, basically the whole idea behind it is it gives you like a whole softer feeling uh, a lot of phase off guys really really dig it because it pops back and forth really quick um, it's a great feeder pocket um, well feeder mesh to put in your feeder uh, if you're like a attackman feed sort of kind of kind of guy um, but uh, after I in, after I tried this new pattern for the proton powers I'm kind of like in love with it now um, it really stretches the mesh down and really makes it so that it's really really defined and you can get a great uh, great pocket out of it um, as you can see I did the same thing as the other uh, proton power I did the interlocks all the way down to the middle of the head um, you can see the pockets gonna be right there in the middle uh, I can shift up shift low uh, this one turned out really classy it's half black uh, it was our previously dyed by him and I just put in the shooters um, so it looks really classy with the white shooters in it, um, I'd have to say. Uh, let me see if I can get it on a different view. Yeah, there we go. That just looks really classy. Um, and the channel on this thing is just absolutely amazing. Hold on just one second. Get this down for you. There we go. Uh, yeah, like I said, the channel on this thing just totally rocks goes right down to the middle show you some left and rights flip it around do a 360 show you a channel shot of it doesn't get any better than that and like I said with the both heads I didn't even have to pound these in these just formed just the way they are um, so if anyone's looking for a softer pocket um, definitely check out this type of mesh that I offer um, in the DMG arsenal obviously um, the 15 mil is a great alternative if somebody you know likes Jimalax uh, mesh and wants a heavier, um, kind of more of a lasting mesh. Um, but if anybody wants something that's ready to go out of the box, um, you know something that's gonna um, allow them to face off well, and you know, you know just kind of like an all-around mesh, um, I'd choose this one because it's a lot softer. Um, and it's a lot more pliable. Um, it stretches out so much more easily. Um, has a tendency to bag if you don't string it right, but if you get it strung right, it's awesome. So, yeah. So, that's the pocket. Get in some better light. Just show you a few more shots of it. Yeah, that just looks really sick. <laughs> oh, look at the two of them. So, I'm just going to put this bad boy down for a second. Give you another angle on it. So you guys can see it. And it goes right into that channel. And if you lift the shaft up, boom, right there. So. Oh yeah, I just forgot to tell you, um, this is the same mesh that East Coast Dyes uses. Um, I order it too, but I put my own coating on it. This is the 20 mil version. It's the same size diamonds as these, as the 15 mil Gemma. So uh, don't get confused that this is bigger diamonds than this. It's the same exact thing. Uh, the Gemma Lax 20 millimeter version is the old one that's bigger diamonds. So that's the only thing you got to worry about. Um, so, um, But they're both the same price as far as uh, white mesh goes. This one's a $14 piece, I'm sorry, $12 piece, this one's a $10 piece, so, yeah, so that's pretty much it, uh, thank you for watching, uh, throw the video a like if you like it, and that's it, and talk to you later guys, peace.